Hello and welcome to another episode of Ask the Experts. I'm Rachel Landry, and today I'm joined by my colleague Amanda Lind, who is the technical content writer here at the company. Today, Amanda will be talking to us about how to mosaic an image and create a topographic map. All right, Amanda, take it away. So for today's example, I have nine topo maps here just of uh, south central state of Maine. And as we zoom in a little bit, we can see that each of these topo maps has a bit of a white collar around the edge. These topo maps are USGS topo maps, and these collars are standardized. And you can look at these a little bit more. I'm going to grab the swipe tool here and just swipe one of these back and forth. So you can see that these collars obscure the neighboring maps. And without the collars, the, the maps would be able to be mosaic together very cleanly. So how do you get rid of the collars? Of course, you could manually create area features to crop out each of the collars. You could do that. No one's stopping you. But in Global Mapper, because these collars are standardized, we have an option to go ahead and get rid of that in just one click. So let me show you how. First, you can work on just one layer, but for today, I'm going to work on all of these layers at a time by selecting them all in the control center. I'm going to right click and go to options, or you can double click. And here in raster options, I'm going to go to the cropping tab. And the second option here is to automatically crop LIDAR. This is for USGS and GeoPDFs and a few other standardized and not necessarily American specific um, standardized collars as well. But with that option checked, I'm going to click OK, and boom, all the collars are gone. Easy peasy. So if we zoom in a little bit with this swipe tool still activated, we can see that the colors are gone and they match up perfectly. There you go. You can export all of these into one file and they will be mosaic as a seamless pattern. Amanda, thank you so much for showing us that workflow. I know that our users will find it very useful. To learn more about Global Mapper and Global Mapper Pro, please visit bluemarblegeo.com. And as always, thank you so much for joining us today, and we hope to see you at our next episode.